Welcome to a closer look at the 1933 film adaptation of the classic novel that has captured hearts for generations. When did you first experience the charm of this timeless story? Do you have a special memory associated with it? In this video, we'll delve into the world of Little Women, uncovering intriguing, amusing, and even poignant facts about the film. So, grab your popcorn and settle in, because there are plenty of surprising moments ahead. This cinematic gem from 1933 is a window into a bygone era, offering a glimpse into the lives of the March sisters as they navigate the challenges of adolescence and womanhood. No need for fancy words or elaborate descriptions, this is a straightforward journey into the heartwarming tale. As we explore, consider your own cherished memories or personal experiences related to this cinematic classic. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Get ready for an entertaining ride through the funny, shocking, and touching aspects of Little Women. And now, tell us what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this beloved classic. In 1933, a fantastic movie hit theaters, grabbing people's attention with its timeless story and interesting characters. Imagine going back to a time when the world was still feeling the effects of the Great Depression and movies were changing. Picture a society hungry for stories that talked about life, love, and family. During that time, a movie called Little Women came out. Directed by George Cukor, it was based on a classic book by Louisa May Alcott. It introduced us to the March sisters Joe, Meg, Beth, and Amy. The story follows their lives, dreams, and struggles during the Civil War. Little Women of 1933 shows us how powerful storytelling can be. It doesn't just tell us about the past, it also explores emotions and relationships that we can all relate to, no matter the time. Back when Hollywood was switching from silent movies to talkies, Little Women showed how stories could adapt. The characters, played by a great cast led by Katherine Hepburn as the lively Joe, connected with audiences, making the movie a big part of film history. As we watch Little Women, we're drawn into a story that feels real no matter when we watch it. The movie's impact goes beyond its release. It still captures hearts today, proving that its story and characters are timeless. Little Women of 1933 is a special movie loved for its ability to make us feel and understand life. Its importance isn't just in the past, it still speaks to people today. It's a reminder of how powerful stories can be. Little Women, set in Concord, Massachusetts, and New York City, is a classic movie that has made a significant contribution to cinema. It appeared in seven movies nominated for the Oscar Best Picture, including Alice Adams, Stage Door, The Philadelphia Story, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, The Lion in Winter, and On Golden Pond. In The Aviator, Kate Blanchett played the main character and won the Best Supporting Actress Award. The movie also showed up in three other Oscar Best Picture nominees Dodsworth and Watch on the Rhine. Little Women is still loved by many for its lasting influence on storytelling and character portrayal. Little Women from 1933 premiered at Radio City Music Hall on November 16th. Its opening week saw remarkable attendance, breaking records with over $100,000 in earnings. The movie was a nominee for Best Picture at the Oscars alongside other notable films like Cimarron, David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities, and Romeo and Juliet. However, only Cimarron clinched the prestigious award. Notably, it marked Nina Borgett's debut in the film industry. Before filming commenced, Douglas Montgomery replaced Eric Linden in the role of Laurie. Costume designer Walter Plunkett had to swiftly alter Joan Bennett's costumes to conceal her pregnancy, which she hadn't disclosed to George Cukor when cast. Uncredited producer David O. Selznick faced resistance from RKO executives to produce the film, as historical novels, especially those focusing on women during the Civil War, were deemed unpopular in Hollywood. However, Selznick persisted, and the film achieved commercial success. As a result, later in the decade, Selznick independently produced Gone with the Wind, adapted from Margaret Mitchell's novel. The interior of the March's home was modeled on Louisa May Alcott's real Massachusetts home. At the time of the movie's setting, both the Christmas tree and Santa Claus were slowly starting to become part of the holiday season. Within the next decade, both symbols would become synonymous with Christmas. Mr. Davis, the school teacher who could not bring himself to punish Amy, was portrayed by the same actor, Alan Howland, in both versions of the movie. In both films, he holds up Amy's slate with the same exact writing and cartoon drawing of the teacher with a huge nose and a cartoon balloon stating, Young ladies, my eyes are upon you. 
In the movie, the character played Mr. Davis, Amy March's schoolteacher, appearing in both the 1933 and 1949 versions. The role extended over the years, featuring in three Oscar Best Picture nominees Disraeli in 1929, Little Women in 1933, and Father of the Bride in 1950. Initially, Aunt March was portrayed by Louise Closser Hale, but after her passing in July 1933 during filming, Edna May Oliver took over. The character's journey unfolded across decades in the mentioned films. The role of Aunt March went through a change due to Hale's death, with Oliver stepping in to continue the character's presence in the movie. During the filming, she was expecting her daughter Melinda Markey, which adds an interesting layer to the movie's creation. It's worth noting that June Smaney started her acting journey with this film, which was a big step in her career. She not only showed her acting skills, but also contributed her voice to Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky's touching song, None But the Lonely Heart, enhancing the movie's soundtrack. All these elements come together to make this film special. Made with care and attention to detail, each scene is full of emotions and authenticity, capturing the essence of being human. Indeed, every part of this film, from the performances to the music, contributes to its lasting impact in the world of cinema. It speaks to the timeless appeal of stories that delve into the complexities of family, love, and ambition. And so, the history of this beloved tale keeps evolving, leaving a memorable impression on audiences for generations to come. In Italy, most of her movies, like Father of the Bride and its follow-up Father's Little Dividend, had their voices replaced by Lydia Simonski, who gave them a unique sound. Sometimes, Leah Orlandini, Renata Marini, and Tina Latanzi also provided their voices, adding their own style. The movie itself cost $1 million to make, which was a lot back then. This money not only helped make the movie, but also provided jobs for over 4,000 people. It shows how big the movie industry was and how passionate everyone was about this project. Making such a great movie was tough work. It took a whole year for a team of people to turn the idea into a reality, from writing the script to putting it on screen. One cool thing is how she asked the costume designer, Walter Plunkett, to make a dress just like one her grandma wore in an old photo. This shows how much attention to detail went into making the movie. Father of the Bride is loved by people all over the world because it's funny, heartwarming, and shows what family life is like. And behind its success is a group of talented people who worked hard to make it happen. Released in 1933, the movie Little Women is the third version of the well-loved novel. In the original copies, Gustav Brockhand colored the film, giving it a special charm from that time. However, in current releases, this artistic touch is no longer present. Catherine Hepburn, in her autobiography, spoke highly of the director George Cukor, saying, making this film was a joy, he really captured the feel. It felt like my youth. Directed by Cukor, the movie captures the nostalgic feelings expressed by Hepburn, bringing the timeless story to life. Its lasting popularity comes from its ability to transport viewers to a simpler era, stirring emotions and memories that cross generations. The collaboration between the director and the cast resulted in a great movie that still captivates audiences today. Little Women, in its different versions, continues to show the enduring power of storytelling, connecting people through its universal themes and relatable characters.